In the previous lecture, we understand the serialize function to serialize data. Now let's take a look at PHP JSON format. In this lecture, we're going to talk about why JSON is a common format to transfer data in most of the language. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation and it is a syntax for storing and exchanging data. A common use of JSON is to read data from a web server and display the data in the web page. JSON format is a text-based format. It can easily be sent to and from a server and used as a data format by any programming language. PHP has a built-in function to handle JSON data. First, we have JSON encode and then we have JSON decode. Objects in PHP can be converted into JSON by using PHP JSON encode function. And on the other hand, using JSON decode, you can convert JSON into object. So let's take a look at how you can use both these functions in PHP. Let's say if I just create here an array and in this array, I have different values. Now what I want, I want to share this data with different application or you can say send this data to the different file. I'm going to simply first encode this in the JSON format so you can easily send it to the another file or to another application. So I'm going to just say here object is equal to JSON encode and then I'm going to call JSON string this variable as a parameter to this function. So this function is going to convert this array into JSON format and return to this object. And then if you try to print this object, you're going to get the result something like this. And now in case you want to decode this object, you can use JSON decode function. For example, I'm going to just create here variable decode and specify JSON decode function to it. And I'm going to pass this object to this function. So when I try to print this variable, it's going to return the result something like this. I'm going to have my array as a result. Now that's super easy, right? Now suppose you're getting request from a client to store some data in the database. Client send request using JavaScript and we are working on PHP as a backend. So we need to store the client data in the database. Client send the data in the JSON format. So for example, let's say I'm going to just add here JSON. So client just return this data. Now what I want, I want to decode this JSON and then use it in my PHP program. So the simple way to do is I'm going to just create a variable here, object, and then I'm going to specify JSON decode function to it to decode this JSON object. Now you can notice here we have key and value pair in this JSON object. To decode this object, I'm going to use JSON decode function and specify this string here. In this variable, I have object of this data. Now let's take a look at how to use this object. I'm going to just say here printf, specify all done, welcome to home page, and then I'm going to specify here string and I'm going to just call the name of the client. So I'm going to just see here object and call name. As you can notice, I'm using this variable as an object. But let's say you have key name in this JSON object. You're going to get this property in the object when you convert this JSON data into PHP object using JSON decode function. So when I convert this JSON object using JSON decode function, I'm going to have these keys as a properties of this object. So using this name, I can access this JF value. So when I try to print this statement, it's going to return the result something like this. And now if I want to encode this object and send it back to the client, you can use JSON encode function. For example, let's say I want to encode this object and send back to the client. I'm going to just call here decode variable and call JSON encode and specify this object here. So this function is going to encode this object into JSON and store in this variable. So we can send this data to the client easily using JSON format. So the question comes in, why we need to use JSON to transfer data? So JSON has been preferred format because it is much more lightweight and it comes with key and value pair. And most importantly, JSON can work with most of the languages out there. So that is why JSON is the most popular data transfer format in most of the languages. So I hope you understand how we can use the JSON in PHP language. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.